So first question is, who are you, what's your company, what do you do? Okay, uh, James Zhang, CEO, founder, and company is Concept Art House, okay. and Spellgun. Two companies here. Excellent, two companies. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. So what do you guys, what do, you guys do? What's, what's the thing that you know, you're, you're known for? Okay, so uh, let's just focus Concept Art House for this sure. talk. So we do really high-end art and graphics. Concept art, 3D, animation, uh, pre-production, things like that. Okay. And uh, what kind of uh, what kind of projects have you been working on in the past that people would know? Uh, we've been doing this for about eight years. Uh, I like to think we have a pretty good reputation. Help ship maybe five, six hundred games uh, every year. We come out maybe you know fifty games or so. Uh, some of the top ones. Uh, let's see. Heyday, um, My Vegas by Play Studios, a uh, bunch of games for Kabam, did some stuff for Spirit Lords, War Dragons for Pocket Gems, uh, Riot Games, Blizzard, Hasbro, a lot. So a few <laughs> fairly well-known games there. Yeah, yeah, yeah a few uh, startups. Right? Now, you were telling me off camera that you were doing some of the work on the Clash of Clans title uh, yep. for the, was it the Super Bowl um, ads? So we didn't, we're not responsible for the game, but right. on the Super Bowl ads, those are our 3D models in there. So, Amazing. So yeah. what, was it, what was it like working on a, a, an advert that you knew was going to be? Oh, uh, it's, it's cool. It's cool. They had a San Francisco office, went there, they had statues to show us, and uh, the big challenge there was they gave us these little in-game models, because they're only meant for the phone, and we had to make these giant models out of them so it's like how do you treat hair is it like hair or is it like plastic or do they have freckles or how do you you know mm. so that was it was fun it was a good challenge so these are, yeah these are big challenges um, and obviously the, the the games industry is an ever-evolving challenge yes. um, how uh, like what, what trends are we seeing at the moment in the games industry well uh, I feel like we're kind of lucky because we see many games about five or six months before they come out so it's really interesting um, if I were to break it down there's maybe three big takeaways. I'd say, obviously, games look a lot better. And because of that, they're more expensive. So really uh, approaching console-like graphics. So, you know, Marvel's Console's a Champion, amazing, right? They got all the real-time lighting, the spec and diffuse. So really, really good looking art. Two is uh, brands. You know, before, I, I don't want to insult anybody here, but, uh, um, you know, if you play a game like Iron Man, which, for a console was not a very good game. Yep. But, so brands, it really didn't matter, you know? But in mobile, I can just list off Jurassic Park, Hobbit, or Jurassic World, Hobbit, uh, um, Fast and the Furious, um, Kim Kardashian. Yep. Brands are really, you know, Family Guy, Simpsons, these are all top 25 grossing games. Mm -hmm. So I think brands are gonna keep getting hotter and hotter in mobile. Mm -hmm. um, and then the third trend, I would say this whole East to West Bridge, you know? Um, if you look at, uh, you know, I went to E3 a couple years ago, and and uh, if you go to E3 five years ago, it's all like Xbox, Sony, Nintendo. If you go there now, um, there's a heavy, heavy mobile presence. Um, and uh, if you look at a company like uh, Kingsoft, they recently had E3 booth. Their mobile game is $20 million. It's a Chinese company coming to the Western market, you know. Uh, um, Netties, they just have an office here. Uh, there's a recent announcement of Firefly Games just got funding. So all these games are from China. They're saying, we've made so much money in China, now where else can we go with our games? And the same thing from Western markets. They're trying to be successful in China. Some have succeeded and failed, and then um, some are continually trying. So there, so there are, any, are there any particular visual styles you think work Better, uh, you know, out east, or uh, you know, the reverse of that. Are there, are there any like? Is there a visual that's style a that the question. Western market has? Yeah, that's a great question. I think the way to answer that would be if you take a look at the top grossing charts in China, a few familiar names pop up: Hearthstone, um, Boom Beach, Clash of Clans, uh, Dungeon Hunter Five. These games have popped up, and uh, yeah. So if you look at just the style of those games, it seems like. It seems like that Blizzard uh, Games Workshop really powerful fantasy IP seems to work really, really well. Yeah. And then uh, something super cute seems to work well because um, everybody loves the, I'm gonna go on a slight tangent here, but everybody loves the Pixar films, for example, in yeah. the Western market. Well, everybody loves those in China, Korea, Japan as well. And the way they stylize their characters has made a huge impact in mobile, mm. right? So you see companies like, you know, the Clash of Clans or or even like Ubisoft with like uh, Minion Rush, right? Really nice, cute design, 3D characters. Those seem to work really well for the Asian markets. So when a company comes to you and it says, you know, we want a visual style that's going to do well in uh, in the West and and in the East, 
Is there a, a unified style that you would go with, or would you recommend that people try different art styles for different different locales? You definitely want whatever style you pick. You don't start off and get it right on the bullseye. You know, the general direction you push them is um, there's a few basic rules that you try not to cross. Right, like sci-fi doesn't work that well. You know, uh, ultra realistic doesn't work that well in Asia. So you kind of stay away from. It. Obviously, if anything really natively specific like cowboys aren't going to work super well in, in especially in China. Yeah. Um, so within that, you know, there's a, there's a kind of a high fantasy look that's really popular. Look at like Heroes Charge, look at Dota, you know, look at um, League of Legends, all really, really popular in China. And uh, if you go super cute, you have a lot more different room to play with. You know, anything along the DreamWorks, CGI, Pixar look, you're going to have really good luck with that. Bright colors. You yeah, know. yeah. So, so, so just as a final little bit of speculation into the future, we'll yeah. get, get our crystal ball out just for a yeah. moment. Yeah, do, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> do, do we see those? Do we see specifically the trend of visuals getting more impressive, uh, more costly? Yes. Do we see that as a trend that's going to continue on, or have we hit a plateau in terms of the price of making a making a, the visuals in a, in a mobile game? You, you gotta believe it's gonna keep getting better and better fidelity, you know? Let's take a look at strategy games, right? So um, a lot of games were inspired by Ebony, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah Ebony, and then um, uh, that inspired kind of uh, uh, Kingdom Camelot, and then it kind of inspired Valor, and those are fairly Gen 1 strategy games. And then Game of War came out, and it, you know, it looked okay. And then recently, um, Clash of Kings came out to compete with them, but then here comes Zynga with Dawn of Titans, yeah. and there's a city building mechanic that looks really amazing. You know, I can't speak for the rest of the game, haven't played it, um, but the visuals, it's no longer locked to the 45 degree angle. Everybody, there's a buzz about it. And I just have to think, you know, I play a lot of games myself, and as a consumer, if you look at exhibit A, exhibit B, assuming they both play exactly the same and one looks better, you gotta go with one that looks better. And I think companies um, like Natural Motion and Zynga have caught on to that. Right, because there's so many clones in the market, you kind of have to, you know. I think companies will keep investing in that because these games just make so much money. 